So we've covered curriculum a bit where we talk about the rigor and I made a video on it and some of the other directors from one of the top 10, top 15 programs commented on it. And he talked about the same thing, which is like, we want to measure rigor, but it's extremely hard to measure it. There's no easy way to say like my program is, you know, rigor of 90 out of 100 and your program is a rigor of 85 out of 100. It's just really hard to measure and it's really hard to do. Um, it's why for a lot of times I don't like ranking programs, but if I do, I require, I go on campus, I sit in the classrooms, I listen to the professors, I want to see the interaction the students have, and then I interview students afterwards. And like, I really want to know the, the details because I had students like complaining to me because there's no professors around, just me and a student just sitting there chatting about, you know, how's the program going? What do you like about it? But again, coming back to that curriculum part, it's really hard to rank curriculum. It's really hard to judge it. But at the same time, you want to make sure, at least for me, one of the indications here is when you see a ton of finance classes listed, it's, it's not going to be a financial engineering program because the students that we find that do the best when you hire them in the industry are those that are very uh, like theoretically driven. So I can teach you how to do math and stats, and it's not necessarily applied. But a lot of times when you take the applied courses, what ends up happening is that they they get in a mindset where they can't think outside of that application. So one of the best examples here is, um, for example, like the Gini coefficient. And so I work in credit risk for some of my jobs I've done. And people in the industry are convinced like Gini coefficient is invented and created in credit risk. And that's the only place you can use it. And so then I had this argument with them like, hey, I have an economics background that was actually invented to do you know, income inequality. So you can start looking at like the Gini coefficient and start talking about it. And they're shocked that you can apply it to different things. But again, having a lot of theoretical rigor in the curriculum, I think it's important. Even though like when I graduated, I thought this is a waste of time. I took way too much math. It's not going to be applicable. But when they start throwing you into different areas and different jobs, you really start being able to connect the dots quicker than somebody that might have been trained to do a specific calculation in a specific industry. So in general, like curriculum wise, I like to see math and stats. I hate seeing business and finance classes because the MBA classes I took that were the finance classes were word for word, textbook for textbook, the exact same class I took in my undergrad for finance. <laughs>